Hi and welcome to March's editorial video where this month we're talking about dynamic packaging and leisure distribution. Also joining me in this video is Natalie Kimball from Shiji Group. If you haven't already, make sure to read the supporting article which Natalie wrote. I think you'll find some really interesting pieces in there that she's uh, highlighted and, and laid out. Don't forget our podcast and the infographic are also available. Okay, so with competition for bookings more intense than ever, hotels must continue looking for ways to become a one-stop shop for their guests planning a holiday or a business trip. Today's travelers are looking for ways to streamline their booking process, really without sacrificing the quality of their overall experience. An increased demand for quick, tailored, all-in-one holiday bookings provides an ongoing challenge to the hotel industry that saw an increase in direct booking traffic since the beginning of COVID. They've been winning back business from third-party channels and it's now a good opportunity to think about some ways to maintain this. We are aware that historically bookers have checked the hotel website for information and pictures and then often returned back to the OTA to then go ahead with a booking, together with obviously the transport and other services that are associated to the room. Travelers are wanting more individual experiences and for some time now, the OTAs have been offering consumers the ability to create dynamic travel packages based on their wishes, whilst also increasing that look to book ratio. Customizing of the guest's trip can include numerous factors from flexible arrival and departure dates, tours, activities, cruises, and wellness and spa breaks. And of course, these are all packaged up as all-inclusive options. The term dynamic packaging is often misused to describe the less sophisticated process of interchanging various travel components within a package. However, this practice is probably best described as dynamic bundling. Actual dynamic packaging requires the automated recombination of travel components based on the inclusion of rules that dictate the content of the package and conditional pricing rules based on various conditions such as the trip characteristics, suppliers contributing the components, the channel of distribution and the terms of the sale. Dynamic packaging is used in package holiday bookings to enable consumers to build their own package of flights, accommodation and car rentals instead of purchasing a predefined package. The pricing is always based on current availability. Escorted group tours are rarely included and trip specific add-ons such as airport parking and show tickets are often available. Dynamic packages are similar in that often the air, hotel and car rates are available only as part of a package or only from a specific seller. Firstly, inventory is sourced dynamically, meaning the flights, accommodation and the car rental components for the package are sourced in real time. Secondly, these components are then dynamically combined into packages. And finally, the package is dynamically priced and usually has an opaque total price. Let's now check in with Natalie and hear what her thoughts are. Approaching dynamic packaging is first understanding really what it is you're trying to accomplish. So for a hotel, you know, when you think about, I want to be able to maximize the spend a customer has before trip, during trip, possibly after trip. So when you think about that dynamic package, it is really related to how can I make sure that I am offering all of my products and services in a way that a consumer wants them. If I'm someone who decides to, um, Las Vegas, it's a five hour drive for me. So the, the, the real reality of me driving there is just as common as it would be for me to fly. It's kind of a, a wash either way. So if I'm looking for a particular hotel, I want to make sure that as the traveler, I have the opportunity to book a show, maybe a private tour. I have all of these, maybe I'm interested in a, hel a helicopter over the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and you know, you really wanna make sure that as a hotelier, not only are you able to present and sell those in advance, but also that you have the right package component. So maybe for a higher end luxury um, property, it does make sense to offer that hotel, that helicopter experience versus maybe something um, where it's a little bit different. You know, luxury hotel would want to offer spa, um, those kind of facilities. Uh, 
services in advance versus a, a lower end product, uh, maybe a mid scale might not. So make sure that you're using a similar system, a POS system on property so that you can actually optimize that revenue pre, during, post. Obviously, that's a really huge component. I think one of the many things that we hear from hotels when it comes to dynamic packaging is that they don't know how to get all of those services combined and offered up in advance to the customer or even during stay. I mean, it's it's a great thing that we've gone away from books in the room to let us know what the pool hours are and what the outlets are. If it's a sundry shop or you know something as simple as how can I get room service? I think as an industry, we've certainly gone away from that. But at the same time, I'm not sure if we're actually tokenizing the opportunity to sell that um, again before during the after part's a little bit different. Really, that's about making sure someone loved the experience so much that they want to book again. But really, um, you know, the options for doing it are vast, which is why I think in this particular area of dynamic packaging, it's just it's a really complex marketplace. But I think the tip for always coming back to the hotels, really understand your customer and don't don't take the time to understand maybe uh, a customer that is booking a one time, go back and look, who are your repeat business? Who Look at that clientele, talk to them, survey them, ask them, how, how can you really engage with those who are already experiencing your product and, and find out from them your actual direct use case um, consumers, what it is additionally they'd like to see in a package component. Looking at the dynamic packaging software, if we start to consider just North America, and again, we're not even gonna, we'll, we'll kind of add on to that, but let's look at the um, simplicity <laughs> of the number of airlines that we have um, as a stronghold in North America. If you're a consumer and you're a hotel and you also um, are looking to package an airline, a hotel, and now you know we've also got the car component We've had some consolidation on that side, so there are less people playing in that field, but um, the software to actually support the massive complexity of a dynamic package is so incredibly complex that really right now, um, you know, that that's its own business model. So if you, if you kind of think back and say, okay, well, you know, back in the day, everything was sold individually. You purchased your hotel, you then purchased your airline. Well, back in the day, we actually used to purchase airline first because airline rates dropped on Tuesdays. And all of us knew that. So we always booked our airline on a Tuesday, then found the hotel because there's more option for hotels. And car was always kind of the last component of that. Yeah, you know, and, and sadly, if you weren't traveling for a specific event, that was the last thing on your list. So if you weren't specifically traveling to a sporting event, a concert, some sort of a venue, you know, that was kind of a, oh, well, we're gonna be there. What else is, is, is available? So when you look at the way that we used to book, we then got into that space um, kind of more on the, you know, on the travel agent side to say, hey, let's look at Opaque. Priceline built an entire model on it and, and parsed out the packaging component and went to where you didn't know where you were gonna stay or, what airline or flight you were going to get if you chose the opaque route. So as this has continued to evolve, the software itself, quite frankly, is still the same. It's still point A to point B, hotel night stay for one, two, three, four, number of nights, car rental pickup and excursion at the other end. So it's not that the, the components have changed at all. Those are still exactly the same. What has changed is the consumers want what they want, where they want, when they want, with who they want. So I want to make sure I fly on American and I wanna make sure that I stay with X brand and I only wanna run through Hertz. You know, there, there's a very there's a very complex component in that because what we're saying is we wanna serve you options, but at the same time, the consumer says, I only want my options. <laughs> so it makes it incredibly complex. When you look at the software, if I'm a hotel and I say, I wanna be able to offer some sort of packaging opportunity, really working with an OTA is really the, the, the best kind of uh, 
the best bang for your buck because it's incredibly low cost to the hotel when it comes to the maintenance side of it. You're not having to manage cancel refunds, changes. Um, you know, that market has become so incredibly complex. I kind of keep going back to airline just because it is one of the more complex. So when, you, when you're a hotel sitting there again, we'll go back to Las Vegas. If I'm sitting on property and I want to be able to offer a packaging component, the OTAs really offer a very, kind of plug and play white label solution that allows you on your own website to be able to offer packaging. Now, again, when you look at that and kind of start to duplicate that out, okay, so great. So I'm a hotel in Las Vegas. I also have a property in Dubai. I've got one in Mallorca. I've got, you know, there's a lot of other, as you start to kind of expand that, then think about all the other hotel airlines you have to work with all the different car rental companies, all the legislation, the legalities, the laws, the rules, everything starts to compound. So you can, as a hotelier, if you're looking at low cost labor, party with a third party and have that um, component on your own website. Or of course, there's always the option of just really being aggressive of providing, um, if you're okay with them going off brand.com, providing really aggressive discounting opportunities and rates through the actual packaging components on those OTAs. So you kind of can do both sides of that coin. Say, for those customers who do want to book with brand.com, they're loyal to me, they know they want to stay with me. You can offer a plug and play sort of out of the box solution from an OTA. Or what you can do is go with the trusted partner and really aggressively discount offer, offer additional packages that they can then service that again, still support your making sure a customer is purchasing stuff before and maybe during, you know, the during and the post you kind of own once the customer's there. But if you work with an OTA and you offer aggressive discount pricing on their website, then you're really going to get into the meat of your your marketplace is completely different because you're competing with every other hotel in the area. But at the same time, you can still aggressively package your pre components that are sold on property in advance of the guest arriving. When thinking through some of the pitfalls, you know, I think that in conversations that um, I've had with individual hoteliers. Uh, at associations, at conferences, the return on the investment for the working, uh, putting a plug and play on your own brand.com, it doesn't convert very well. Um, so the pitfall is that you could be investing some time and money and labor, which we all know is in very short supply these days, for something that isn't necessarily going to give you a great ROI. On the other side, when you say, I'm going to work with a particular OTA, I'm going to offer really aggressive discounts, it's really out of your hands. So from that standpoint, it's good. I think one of the things that really has to be considered is this whole brand.com. So when we look at the way the industry has trended, we are constantly, this is what we do in our industry. We are brand.com has control, the OTAs have control. Brand.com, third parties, brand.com. So right now we're on that up slide again where the brand.com is in control. I would encourage us to remember historically <laughs> that it's always a give and take. There's always an ebb and flow. So what that means is it's you really need to look at a combined strategy in the distribution and packaging landscape that does continue to support both. So the pitfall, I would say, is looking at your numbers and saying, our brand.com is doing amazing. How can we continue to support this? Let's throw all of our investment, all of our money, all of our resources into brand.com just to see that wave turn again. And we're back to the third parties really helping to own that that uh, that, that that part of the kind of uh, competitive landscape. So what that means is do both. There's no reason that a hotel should have to pick one or the other. It is a combined way to get your own brand noticed, get it out there. There's there's this new thing happening where a lot of um, new brands, I mean, if you would have told anybody in the industry 10, 15 years ago that a brands like, you know, Marriott and Hilton would have 30, I should say, sorry, chains, like, you know, uh, the big guys would have some 30 odd brands. I, I don't know if we 
probably would have believed that there, there's been a shift again from independent um, to corporate. And now we're kind of back to independent again. Everybody wants a unique identity. So so with that, what that means is you can't be on every possible shelf in every location. So when you work with that third party, regardless of o a wholesaler, OTA, you know, a, a traditional um, travel agency, whatever it is, make sure that you are actually investing in both. Brand.com will still be where you should probably leverage more of the research, more of the you know support. But at the same time, that is not to say it's kind of like a 49-51 split. I, I really believe that we, we should learn from our past experience in the industry and know that the brand.com is only as strong as the third party and vice versa. The both of them need each other to be successful. So and I would I would say too, the pitfalls might be. Um, making sure that you're staying on top of the way that the payment landscape is changing. Again, aging all of us here, but if you could go back and say 20 years ago, you could buy a vacation the same way you can buy a couch or a TV on layaway, which for maybe some of you young kids, you don't know what that term means, but essentially you can consume the entire vacation before you've even paid for it, which is absolutely fascinating. You come back and then you start making payments, monthly payments on a vacation you have already consumed. So, you know, I, I would say a pitfall would be getting behind in understanding the way that the, the customer is traveling, the way that the customer is purchasing. It is important that hotels booking systems today are capable of providing the same standard as OTAs when it comes to dynamic packaging. In the current time where leisure demand is growing in strength, offering dynamic packaging solutions is really an opportunity now for expansion to these new opportunities. Discuss this with your software providers to see how they can support some important steps that are needed to be considered when establishing a dynamic packaging solution into your booking platform. Research and evaluation. Define the business need. Identify why you need to offer dynamic packaging. What business objectives do you want to achieve? Check if the existing hotel systems used can support ongoing development to support dynamic packaging solutions. Prepare and document. Prepare and document requirements for the process and determine the ROI. External inventory suppliers. Depending on the types of available inventory from suppliers in your region, do these meet the customer's expectations and the business requirements? For example, what activities are around the area, what restaurants and bars are worth offering, and are there exciting activities that the guest would be interested in? You'll have to negotiate commercial terms and determine, of course, if their systems are able to integrate with yours via APIs. Engineering. Based on whether the development of your booking engine is done in-house or by an external agency, the next step will be to connect the developers with the external inventory supplier to begin the process of integrating the solution together so that inventory can be shared. Business processes. The changes made to the booking engine in order to support dynamic packaging are aimed at optimizing and boosting performances and providing more autonomy to the booker so that they can customize their own stay and experience. Assessing the areas amended by the changes might require additional training of staff to ensure that all team members are across these changes and of course can support any potential queries that come. Evaluate the final outcome. To really add strength to a hotel's online presence, it's important to be able to learn how customers behave on your platform and then of course to respond to that behavior as quickly as possible. Once the dynamic packaging options are available and are operational, it's a good idea to evaluate both financial outcomes as well as customer feedback. Based on the data reviewed from these results, ongoing adjustments and changes can then be made to the user experience and of course financial objectives to ensure peak performance of what you're achieving. With dynamic packaging, a guest opportunity to a one-stop booking experience can be achieved. 
it will be a trend that keeps developing and growing. Hotels constantly look to increase direct bookings. Historically, a significant barrier has been that the customer has been unable to combine their accommodation, flights, activities, entertainment, and car rentals to complete an all-inclusive vacation purchase by themselves. Dynamic packaging can help introduce end-to-end -end booking coverage right from the hotelsbrand.com. The alternative is the travelers will continue to rely on the OTAs suggesting solutions to customers for all vacation related needs in the one place. That might be okay for some, but for others it might be time to direct more of that traffic through theirownbrand.com. Thanks for watching and of course for your support. And don't forget if you haven't already make sure to check out Natalie's article. Uh, she's done, really done a great job in putting that together. And of course listen to our podcast and have a look at that infographic. Until next time, it's bye for now.